Hello my friends and welcome back. This is Roll NYC Gaming. My name is David and welcome to episode 3 of Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, if you joined us in the first two episodes, welcome back. I'll make sure there is a link to the very first episode in case you want to start this adventure from the beginning. Uh, for those of you joining us for the first time, welcome. I hope you like uh, what you see. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, feel free to like the video, subscribe to get more content down the road. Uh, if you are returning, then welcome back. Uh, let's get right into it. So, uh, the gang and I, Dorosh, the Dragonborn Barbarian, Shadowheart, the Cleric, Astarian, the Stylish Vam Rogue, we don't know that yet, and Lazel, the modern day cowboy, uh, came across this town that was under attack by goblins. We helped them out, and now we're learning that the druids who run the show here are apparently locking down their grove and kicking all of these uh, refugees out who have run away from their home. So, let's get to the bottom of this. Hells, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. Mm. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Oh, they're looking to me for some sort of response now that I've kind of just butt into their conversation. Um, hmm. Hmm. Clan is everything. You don't abandon those who you swore to protect. I made no such oath, and I will not be held responsible for these people. That's a good point. Just be responsible for yourself then. We have to stay. It's the right thing to do. Sirk. Fine. We'll stay. If we survive, it'll make for a good story, I suppose. Thank you, Roland. There you go. That's the spirit. These people need help. Right, let's see what's going on over here. The children are learning to fight. Hey, it's Will. I should speak up. Go on. Give me a best shot. Oh, I thought he was talking to me. Not bad. Again. Come on, kid, you could do better than that. Oh. Embarrassed. I can't do it. I'm not like you. You can't quit. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Heed the man's words, child. His form is highly efficient. Kind words in unkind times, my friend. Well met. The blade of frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers, racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held. He looks like he's enjoying this. Oh, not anymore. Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Yep. And we both carry parasites, it would seem. Mm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. Or so the stories go. But mm -hmm. we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Mm -hmm. Advocatus Diaboli. Oh, oh yeah. Advocate, a champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Of course, I'm up on my history checks. Of course, I would pass that. Hunting in the hells, dangerous territory. I'm no stranger to the infernal. 
Better to slay a devil before her fires burn common folk to ash. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's mm. out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. It sounds like a serious problem got in your hands. Um, well, I'm looking to cure this infection. I suggest we partner up. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. Hmm. I Bother accept your invitation. Bothersome's putting it You'll lightly. You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Yeah, why don't you go to camp? I'll, we'll talk there. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Mm -hmm. Sorry, kids. I'm taking your uh, trainer away. You're on your own. Oh, this is... Zoru. Oh, this is who Githy... Uh, I almost called her Gith. Uh, she has a name. Lazel wants to talk to him. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood. Oh, look at that fucking hat. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Yep. And I suggest you do as she says, little boy. Oh, Shadowheart disapproves. I didn't ask you, Shadowheart. Starians for it though. <laughs> Lower. Well, she doesn't like repeating herself. Trust me. You saw another gift. Where? On the road to Baldur's Gate, N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. <laughs> the map. Show me. She's mocking the fact that his friend got killed. That's so cruel. <laughs> but she can't she could do no wrong with that hat on, honestly. Uh, you can keep your innards. You're not going to eviscerate him. <laughs> I was hoping for a show. Cool your blood. I'll indulge you soon enough. Oh. Is there something going on between you two that I should know about? The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Hmm. I think she's been fine before. You're dab handed interrogations. We might need that skill. Uh, it's not really my forte, so. A shell so thin requires little to crack it. The tea sling was clear. <laughs> if there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Here. Do you say teethling? <laughs> I am unfamiliar with the. Well. I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this fey run. I don't have I don't think I have it in me to correct her twice. <clears throat> uh what do you mean to changing the subject? Uh when you mean purification. Just curious. The crash holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant I can say no more. Okay. Alright, some half the party leveled up and the rest didn't. So that means we need to get more experience so we all level up. Hey, it's this little trio. We should have left by now. Damnish! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. I thought we covered this already. You're doing the right thing. These tieflings need help. And what about us? There's every
every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade, all because Leah insists on helping every wounded foe we see. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. This place is lost. Sounds like a quitter to me. You always this selfish? Actually, no. There's every chance you'll die on the road. It's quite dangerous out there. In case you didn't hear, there are goblins in these parts. Please, I can handle myself. It's others that are the issue. You are looking at Laroican's newest apprentice. Yes, that Laroican. <laughs> the greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I have no clue who you're talking about. You sound excited. I've admired Laroican for years. Never dreamed he'd answer my letter. But I've worked myself to the bone for this. Few can match me in either magic or talent. The names Roland and Laroican will be known far and wide. You'll see. What the heck are you doing out here? How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Mm hmm Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. Oh. Uh what is it? Food. You want it or not? <laughs> okay, thanks. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Yeah, I mean, can't argue there. Hello. Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. It's a rare day when I see one of you lot about. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! Hmm? There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh, cold, feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Um, no, there's no need. I'm, I'm fine, really. Sorry, love. I just lose the run of myself sometimes. I must say, though, you're looking mighty peaky. More like mighty. Right. Uh, I've been better, but uh, it's difficult to explain because I really don't know what's happening so far. So. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The hmm. wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. Hmm. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. This old... She is not to know of the... our ailment. Only a gith healer may make us pure. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? My cowboy friend says I can't tell you. Sorry. Everything's fine. No problem. Just a little tired from uh, killing so many goblins. As you wish, Petal. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Why? What's the harm? Show me your wares. Hey, bother. Man, this lady is a pushy salesperson. I actually already sold all my stuff to another vendor, so this is one of those things where like a, a salesperson talks you in and you kind of just look, you browse, but you actually have no intention of buying anything. Oh, look at the time, gotta go. Take care now, sweetie. Mm-hmm, you too, lady. Thanks. Ooh, now here's, here's what we're talking. A blacksmith. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel. Oh. Let me see your wares. Anything good? Hand axe. Ooh, hand axe plus one. That is for garage. Yes, sir. Any 
clothing. Nope. Oh, a sickle. It doesn't actually do anything more. Alright, I'll take it. I'll sell one of these to you. And X. Light throne. Cool. A good deal. Alright, yeah, see you later. Put my new axe in my hands. Ooh, feels good. Good weight. Mm -hmm -hmm. Alright, I gotta go talk to the leader of this grove. See what's going on here. Get to the bottom of this. Need four more experience. How do you two level up? I always wondered how this game decided who got what experience. Hey, good. Hey, goods. Oh, this one's working. Excuse me. Please, let's through. Let my daughter go right now. Ooh, an angry mob. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corker's judgment. Ouch. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Red Rochelle, or I'll rip your damn throat out. Oh. That's a teddy bear. You guys can't let him just intimidate you like that. Where are you going? We need to get Arabella out now. You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. She's pretty sweaty. I saw what happened. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Why are the two of you so oh, sweaty? It's all my fault. Is that, that hot I out? told her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Hmm. Breaking into druid chambers to steal a sacred relic. Oh, she sounds like fun. <laughs> Starion, stop getting into trouble. <laughs> With your hat. Two of them. I don't know if I'd be able to take this band of adventurers seriously. She's just a child. The druids must be overacting. Uh, I'll go talk to them. Thank you. They won't oh. give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. The starion doesn't like helping children. Tough. Oh, we got no experience to level up. Yes. Let me roar back at this bear. Come on. Give him a chance. You get back. If it weren't for me, you and your whole little grove would be overrun by goblins. I'll go where I please. Kick back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. I'm afraid what? of you. Tree hugger. Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Huh. See that? Actually, a little too easy. Can't give up now. Yeah, come on in, guys. Come on into our sacred grove. These boots have seen everything. Pretty cool stuff you guys are doing here. Hostess Subeunt Protogenos. I'm I'm sorry, are you guys busy? Defende nos ab emenentebus aquilibrio tuo. Hmm. Alright, don't let me bother you. You you guys are definitely busy. I'll come back later. Hmm, actually I don't know if I want to get into everyone's business. Let's go find these druids. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello. Whoa. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a a what, Wrath? 
A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Imprison her? She's just a child. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our That's a sensitive water, subject right now, lady. Holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely do it. Damn. I don't know if I want to... Should I pick a fight with this lady? Mm. Let's try to persuade her. Although... Now nah, I'm going for it. She's just a cub. Let her go. Or tangle with me. Yeah, let's do it. Inspiration. Come on. Give me a 10. Oh. Oh, no. One more time. One more time. We got one more inspiration. Come on, guys. Back me up. Son of a bitch. All right. Some more like, she's just a cub. Let her go or tangle with me. I've treated with more etiquette than you. The devil sowed chaos. She remains until the rite is complete. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. Hmm. Your snake is prepared to kill this child. Do you really want her death on your hands? Good. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. God damn. This lady's a bully. I don't like bullies. Run along, kid. What's up, Shadow? <laughs> I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least. In case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. See... It's just... something I have to live with. You can't bring it up and then, like, don't ask about it. I'm gonna tell you something, but don't ask. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Hmm. You sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? Positive. You can trust me on that. What do you think, Floppy Hat? Hmm. Alright. Thanks for, uh... Thanks for sharing, I guess. Alright. Let's go talk to the... Bully. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Took the words right out of my mouth. Only a monster would threaten a child. Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm. Free of intruders. I love that they salute every time she says Sylvanus or Oak Father or anything like that. It's a nice little touch. This, uh, I wouldn't, yeah, Darash wouldn't say that. Look, Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. 
The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Is there any reason you weren't out there protecting your grove? It was just me and the uh, refugees? Whatever. Uh, seems I must speak to Zephlor then. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> I'd like to think that conversation went pretty well. Pretty well indeed. Let's level up real quick before we proceed. Level 3, Barbarian. Ooh, I get to pick a subclass. Alright, so we've got Wild Heart. That sort of makes me... The way I could describe it is more of like a team player. I can help my allies and hinder my enemies. Berserker, which makes me kind of just more of a beatdown fighter. Berserker's good if I'm going to be using two-handed weapons down the road. Or wild magic, which lets me sometimes randomly cast magic. It's random, though, so I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, let's go with wild heart. We could always change it down the road if we need to. Let's go bear. Gives me resistance to all damage except psychic. That's pretty good. Um, I could use diving strike. Ooh, elk makes me very fast. Tiger makes me jump further and gives me tiger's. Bloodlust. Hmm. Or wolf. Gives my allies nearby advantage. I'm gonna go with bear. Make me tanky. Ooh, and I can heal myself. That's cool. And I can change my piercings, apparently. Now I'm gonna keep with the piercings I had. Alright. That was easy. Next up. Shadow Heart. Alright, she's got some more options because she is a cleric. And I still haven't changed her domain. Dang. Alright, uh, we're going to go ahead and teach her Spiritual Weapon because that's a great spell to have. And that'll about do it. Okay. We got Floppy Hat. Mm -hmm. All right, now everybody goes thief because thieves get an additional bonus action. I'm not gonna lie, I've done it myself. It's pretty darn good to be able to dash twice or dash and hide or disengage and dash. It's just great. I'm going to give assassin a try. Uh, it's great in D and D. I'm gonna see how it does here. So, at the start of combat, he gets his action and bonus action back. So if he launches an attack, he still gets to go full force. Uh, any attack bef on a surprised creature is a crit. And he has advantage on attack rebels against targets who have not acted yet. Yeah, let's give it a go. Advantage on targets means I can sneak attack him. And Lazelle. Alright, she can jump better. Cool. And she has Battlemaster, Eldritch Knight, or Champion. Uh, we'll go ahead with Battlemaster. That's a fun one. And give her Repost, which means when she misses, oh, someone attacks her and misses, she can counterattack. Rally's cool to have. She can give an ally some temporary hit points if someone's gonna get swarmed and we'll go with trip attack because being able to knock someone over is always good all right good job gang 
We are more powerful now. And you are the healer, Nettie. Excuse me. I see you. Just give me a moment. Uh, okay, I'll be patient. This medicamentings. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Oh, so cute. Now, what was it you needed? Hmm. <laughs> it's looking straight up at me. I need help. Now. No. I need healing. Looks like I came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. Oh, okay. What are you looking for? Seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Can can I stand back up, or are you still examining me? <laughs> the look of like disgust on her face. Yeah, I'm a. Uh, <clears throat> Very tired indeed. Then get some rest. There's no better magic. Take a nip of whiskey before bed if you need to. Come back to me if that doesn't do it. Did you just give me the take two Tylenol and sleep it off Please. diagnosis? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And? Feeling any better? No, I didn't go anywhere. I need healing as soon as possible. Please. Come here. Let's have a look at you. Uh, Alright, examine me again. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, yeah. maybe. Yeah. It's good to know the diagnosis hasn't changed. Um, alright. Lazel wouldn't want me telling you this. Lazel, cover your ears. I'm more than tired. Something crawled into my eyeball. Crawled in? Well. Some sort of bug? Eye socket, I guess. Wait, did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? All slime, teeth, and tentacles. <clears throat> you know of them. Can you help? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. What's with the hesitation? to be quick. This way. Oh yeah, you're moving real quick. Look at her pump on those arms. Oh... Cool. Alright, we're not getting followed in or anything. Alright, everybody inside. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Huh. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. I'm, uh, hoping for a less grave cure, if possible. What you got there? I'll do the best I can. I'm no master house in mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Still, we have options. All right. Let's see what we can do. Uh, what is that plant? Will it help? It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Except with, uh, other than how you've been acting? <laughs> um, hmm. Nope. Nothing strange. No, sir. I just want it out of my head. Uh, ma'am. Sorry. No, ma'am. Just want it out of my head. Nothing? You sure? <clears throat> um, well, a little brain creature spoke to me. That was a little odd, I guess, but it was no big deal. It recognized you as being infected. Well, now, that's something. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. <laughs> like five minutes from here. On a mind flare ship. We were all kidnapped and infected. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look. You've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. I could have told you I was dangerous. 
You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Did you have some sort of misconception that you were going to stop the four of us? Alone? In this room? By yourself? In that dead corpse? I thought about... thought you can cure me. What about that branch? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. You I bitch. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you. But I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Sort of a waste of my time, I guess. All right, hand it over. Swear it. Yeah. Fine. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them. Oh. Trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Why is that door opening? Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Well, thanks. <clears throat> what do you mean, we should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Hmm. So, I mean, it hasn't been seven days. You think it's only a matter of time? Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. Hmm. So, go get him. I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. And if my birds can't get close, what chance do I have? You, though. You're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Why don't you go in there with your little branch and your fatal toxin and deal with the goblins yourself? <sighs> Sounds like you're making a lot of assumptions that could kill me. But... All right. He's the answer. I'll go find him. Thank you. It would mean everything to the grove. To me. Mm -hmm. I wish I could tell you what happened out there. But those adventurers were the only witnesses. And they're long gone. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saloon. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Uh, Just bump my bed. I do try to keep my word. Alright. This place kind of sucks, not gonna lie. These druids aren't very welcoming. Alright. What's this? Oh wow, we got a lot of journal updates. Nettie couldn't help us. Instead, she tried to poison us. Hoping to kill us before we turned into mind flayers. So sweet. But their leader, Halson, is connected to the search. So now we gotta go find him. This sounds like their problem, not ours, but we need a cure. Oh, actually, we gotta go talk to Zevlor first. Kaga wanted us to chat. Let's go do that before we leave the town. Look 
can heal while I'm enraged. That's cool. That's new. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. These people talk about knolls a lot. Our little Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Hmm. You're welcome. I hope we'll meet again under better circumstances. Likewise. Arabella? Thank you. For helping me. No problem, kid. Aw, oh, you didn't have to give me a necklace. Gas dancing lights, you really didn't have to give me a necklace. Oh, I'll take it. Can always sell it. Alright, let's go find Zevlor. He's over here. And then we'll blow this pop stand. Hey, there's Zora. Lazy, you want to go talk to him again? <laughs> Go bully that little man again. Hello. Cool place to hang out. Hey, Zevlor. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. No the problem. are this far gone, and it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, can you delay the ritual at all? You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. All right. You need to cut your losses and run. I'll help. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Well, thank you. I think you're the first person that's complimented me since I've been here. And those parents and the kid, they were kind of nice too. Alright, <clears throat> kill the Goblin Horde's leaders. Consider it done. Everyone in this camp depends on it. <laughs> thank you. You know, Astarian. You leave as soon as you give word. I'm gonna send you home if you keep disapproving of every every time we offer to help someone. You and your hat. Go put you in timeout. All right. So there's a lot of chatting, but we can head on out now. So we're gonna fast travel here. Just get to the outside of town, and then. We shall head west. The goblin camp is west. Let's go, gang. There's a lot of blood everywhere. Oh, these are still the goblins. <laughs> a little backpack. You know about these parasites. Will we survive? Only if my people extract them. The only other cure. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, she's pretty, uh, pretty convinced. Oh. People up ahead. Something's wrong. That guy on the ground doesn't look too good. Flesh. 
and something within you stirs in response. What happened to your friend? An oil bear. Please, do you have any? Shut up, Andrik. Do you serve the absolute? Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Yeah. I don't want to talk to this guy. Useless. Your minds intertwine. <laughs> You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner, new recruits. Siblings? Yours to Shepard. Isn't this guy an old dwarf? He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. <sighs> true soul? What? Are you... Are you testing us? A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice. Your words are her command. She grants you the power to enforce her will. And when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Hmm. Ah, I will serve at no ruler's side but my queen's. Yeah, I'm with the cowboy. Perhaps you can help. No, I wouldn't say that to them. Why are you out here? The wilderness is dangerous. We know that all too well, sir, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. Mm-hmm. These fugitives. Tell me more. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. You see. Huh. Well, this is a real head scratcher you got here. As it would happen, I'm looking for someone. You ever hear of the Druid Halson? I don't know any Druids. You're not uh, helping out too much. Alright. I'm a survivor of that crash. Looks like you found me. You! Uh, Brenna, kill him! That's what I'm talking about. It's been too long. Let's fight something! Oh, I can't even catch my breath. Rage. Hmm, are we resting soon? Nah, I don't need it. Let's do it! <laughs> Combat! Alright. Send Lazel in. Heck. Let's give some temporary points. Since those last until a long rest. Good to have. Shadow Heart. You can throw. Oh, yeah, let's throw a secret flame at this guy. Boom. Might as well surround him, I guess. Death's cold grip. And, ooh, so I'm gonna have an advantage. Since this guy has not acted yet. Yeah! Yeah. Cold blooded murder. But they were cultists, so, you know. Sort of justifies our uh, justifies our actions, I think. Pick up. You pick up a body and just bring it with you. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value here. Something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go 
to waste. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Mm. The tadpole is toying with me. I must resist. Quick, give me guidance. Yes. Back my limbs. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased face. Your mind is your own again. Hey, there it goes. Got away. I'm sure it can't live without a host. Ooh. Salami that can be wielded as a weapon. Wow. A boon to any adventurer. Delicious, long lasting, and hard enough to smack an adversary. Nice. The only game that allows you to swing food as a. Uh, as a weapon. Okay. Let's move on. I don't think there's anything down here of worth. Get back to where we needed to go. Back up and around. Yeah, we'll head up this way. Continue along the road. Oh, walking through some vines. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh, there's people ahead. Oh, that's those. Adventurers we saved. Hey weenies. Thought you was busy with the foul bloods in Elson's Grove. You're a real ass, aren't you? I thought you were busy leading your crew. Not no more. The contract didn't mention no goblins. I would have prepped the lads, brought better weapons. Looks like you were ill prepared then. I don't know what I expected. That much gold for some long lost relic buried in the arse end of nowhere. And from a wizard, too. I should have known. The gold probably turns to lead the moment you leave Boulder's Gate. Stupid thing to die for. I say. So, you giving up? I could take a shot at it. Have at it. If you think you can do better. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. Can't do any worse than you with that All hairdo. All the contract. Can show you when we turn back. If you feel like dying. Sounds like your mission was a total failure, so I really can't do anything worse. Uh, I hear the Druid's leader went with you. As soon as he heard we had a contract to find that night song relic, he was more eager than a hound in heat. When the goblins jumped us, most of my crew scarpered, just like I taught them to. The old codger didn't. You just left him to die? Yeah, and I'd do the same again. It weren't my responsibility. If you want to play the hero, go ask the goblins nicely, and maybe they'll give you whatever's left of him. Come on. We're wasting time. Coward. Ooh, stuff. They didn't do a very good job of looting these people if that's what they were, uh... I guess this was their crew? This is as far as the crew got. Something's not adding. <laughs> a goblin drawing. Drinking, 
Drawn in thick charcoal lines upon an animal skin, this childlike portrait depicts three stick figures. Of course it does. A goblin with sparks in its hands, a square humanoid figure, and what seems to be an elf. Each of them is wearing a simple crown. Hmm. Interesting. Methinks there are three leaders. <laughs> and we have to deal with them all, I'm sure. Goblins oh. ahead. Looks like they're laying an ambush. Oh. That's what they think. Okay. How about we ambush the ambushers? Make the ambushers the ambushies. Just need to find another way in. Let's do it. Is really now the best time. All right, let's get Nastarian up to the roof. See what he can do up there. Uh -huh. Sneak up on two of them. You know, you guys are really chatty, being that we're about to lay an ambush. Keeping my head down. Time to press ahead. All right, and I'm gonna move ahead down here. I'll stay boots on the ground. <laughs> Your face is tiring, Shadow Art. Guys. Yeah, was, please, can this can this conversation? I want to hear what you guys have to say, but can it please wait? All right, let's try out this assassinate. Boom! I think that's supposed to be a critical hit. I have advantage. That was I think that was supposed to be a crit. Any successful attack roll against a surprise creature is a crit. Guess he wasn't surprised. I mean, <laughs> certainly didn't see me coming. Uh, oh, and I have advantage, so I can sneak attack this one too. Yes, Astarian. Push him off the building. Yeah, <laughs> that's how the hat rolls. And we're out of here. I'm gone. All right, so who are we dealing with? One across the street, two across the street, and one in the little house. Ooh, he's always spotted. This one, turn around. Alright, we will... Hmm. Let's go back into hiding. I don't know who spotted me, but I guess the one that Astarian killed at the start of his turn. Downstairs. Come on, come a little closer. Am I in reach? I don't think I am. I'm hidden though, so. 
Hmm. Not for long, though. Uh, Shadow Heart's hidden. Lazel's hidden. So that's good. Until that one probably turns around. Um, I feel my way. What are the chances I can sneak over there? How much movement do I have left? 11, then another 30. Alright, maybe if I make a jump, we could do it. Alright, let's dash. Let's do a jump to cover some more ground. Ha <laughs> ha! Hello, little one. This is an ambush. Ow! Son of a bitch. Ow! Oh, Lazelle, they spotted you. Ooh. Tough little booger. No time to waste. This net doesn't do anything? This web doesn't do anything? Flame. Okay. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna do hide with our bonus action. Oh, I can't hit that one. Yeah, we'll take a sneak attack on this one. Oh, ho, 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 yes, Astarian. Thank you very much. That is his turn. Shadowheart, can you reach me with a heal? She'll throw a second level healing word down at me. Give me some Rosh some healing. And she will begin to make her way. Oh, that was her bonus, so she could dash. Here she comes. Let's get across that street. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna dash, do a little leap to save some movement. Get up the ladder. And Boga Boga Boga. Ha! <laughs> Missed. Ooh, no reaction. What's that about? It's kind of lame. I'm not gonna lie. I thought hitting her onto the web would have would have done something. off. Give myself some hit points back on a bonus action. And then there's a... Ooh, there's another goblin over there. Alright, we'll start making our way across the road. Let's dash. Move a little further. And you know what? He could dash again. Because he's a rogue. Dash on an action. Dash on a bonus action. Her dash. Let's see if I can get up the ladder. No, but I can get closer to it. Cool. And Rosh, cut this little guy. Oh, he survives. One damage on the offhand. Damn. I'm gonna need that two-handed fighting style. Missed. Oh. Might be trying to gather his homies. My path be true. Okay. Gotta get her moving. She's sort of out of the way, but she'll just head on over. Never a dull moment. Over to Rosh. Let's see if we can... yeah, I don't want to risk not killing him. Oh, crap. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Got him. You sneak oh. where you ain't ought to be, friend. Might have to take that nose. Excuse you? As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. I ain't afraid of you. More combat. 
Okay. Who are we fighting over here? Oh, <laughs> one goblin warrior? There's no one else? Oh, there's others. They're just not a part of this fight. Okay, that's fair. Uh, yeah, he's doing well from high ground, so let's get back up there. We'll have him dash, and we'll have him hide. Take that high ground. And he'll drop some sneak attacks next turn. Got to keep fighting. Shadow heart can't get through here. So I'll have her go through the building. Dash. We're probably gonna take a rest soon. Starion, you're done. And I'm gonna take a pot shot at this guy. Damn it, or girl, whatever you are. And I guess I'm gonna start making my way around. That's not really how I drew it up, but okay, because I guess it was quicker. Oh, here she comes. And she's she's ready to fight solo. One on one. Part of me kinda thinks I should fight this goblin one on one just with Dorosh. Have an honorable duel. We know Astarian is not gonna let that happen with his flappy hat. Nothing honorable about a man wearing that hat. Oh, hello. This fight is expanding into the, uh... Into the streets. Okay. Oh, this guy wants a piece. Alright. I'm gonna start and pick off. There's one goblin inside the house. Drop a sneak attack down on this guy. Good night, sweet prince. No we'll hide, because this is working. <clears throat> Alright. Can we throw a sacred flame at this one? Nice. And I know I said something about an honorable duel, but it's close enough. Of course, Reckless. Got him. Yeah, I agree. Maybe I need more pockets. The wonders of Fandel in my step. Hmm. It's like the mines of Fandel. It's one of the first uh, introduction adventures they uh, they give you in the starter kit to. Uh, when you first start playing D&D. Never actually played it myself, but I read some of it. <laughs> Talking about Lazel. She's right here. I'm surprised she didn't have something to say about that. Might have been one or two more other goblins over there. These boots have seen everything. Also, it seems like her rally ah uh, it only lasts five turns. That's good to know. I thought she could just give temporary hit points to people. That would have been cool. But I guess five turns is still helpful. She could do it at the beginning of battle and then Ooh. Here's two gobbos. Let's see how close we can get. Let's we'll stay up here. A bit of caution never hurt. Oh, hold on. I wanna no, I just wanna ungroup starting. Yeah. Move in for the kill. Um, 
What about the bonus action? Hmm. Okay, that's a little funny. Keeping low. Let's have Lazel come up and land a killing blow. Alright, yeah, not so bad. And you know, I might take one of these scimitars for change it up a little bit. You have an axe and a sword. That looks kind of barbarian. Still breathing. Come on down, Astarian. It's safe now. Moving in. Oh. Hello, Beans. You know what? I think we're going to call this episode here. And we will pick up with a battle against these three ogres. That'll be fun. Chalk, Fank, and their mysterious leader. Hmm. Alright. Tune in next time. Let's see if the intrepid adventurers... And bring down three ogres. Not gonna lie, we might take a long rest before that, but we shall see how it goes. Thank you for joining me once again. Uh, this is episode three of Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3 with Roll NYC. I didn't intend that to rhyme, but here we are. Tune in next time for episode four, and I will see you next time on the channel.